Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mayer. Here we are on day 212, and I'm continuing the story of the water lily and the prince. So the prince, after having heard via the birds that his betrothed was suffering, had sent a message to the birds that he would be there on the ninth night. And when that night came, well, when that day came, he traveled with a group of his men through the forest along a trail that he had marked so that he would find his way back there easily. He marked the trees when he left. When he got to the hut, it was nighttime. He tied up his horse a distance away where it would not be heard. His men even a bit further. And he walked the rest of the way to the hut. And there, there was the youngest maiden waiting. He led her through the woods to his horse. The two of them got up onto the horse, met with his men, and rode off through the woods, the moon bright enough that they were able to see the trail that they had come by. Now, by the time they came out of the forest, day had come. When the wicked witch went in, to see that her young charges were working. She saw that the youngest was gone and immediately assumed what had happened. Of course, she was quite upset, quite angry, but she set to work immediately, gathering a variety of nightshades from the surrounding area around the hut. These she brought back in and some way, some shape, some form, she made a concoction. She wrapped this in a cloth and indeed it looked like a ball. After she had done this, she went outside and spoke certain words basically that this ball was to separate the two lovers forever. She threw it up into the air and off it sailed as if by itself. The prince and his betrothed, the young maiden, and his men had now reached a river. And there was a narrow bridge by which it could be crossed. A couple of the men had already crossed the bridge and the prince now, with the young maiden behind him, began to cross the bridge. And as fate would have it, that ball that that wicked witch had sent reached them just as they were midway across the river. It, as it traveled, seemed to be emitting sparks. As it came close to the horse, the horse spooked. It also had a sound that it made, like a whistling. The, the horse reared up on its hind legs, and as it did, the maiden could not hang on to the prince and slipped off and fell into the river. Once the prince had sorted things out, he jumped off the horse and dove into the river. 
His men lined either bank as he traveled downstream and began to run after him. There was no sign of the princess. And finally, they pulled him out at a place where the river traveled through a rocky gorge. They waited and watched to see if the princess would appear, but she did not. And finally, the men drug the prince off and away and home. And for six weeks, he did not leave his room. I was in despair. Finally, his father called for help from a wizard who lived in the land of Finland. And we'll leave the story there. See what happens next.